Okay, everybody, so look on the screen. This here, I believe, is outside of grandmother's house. And as you can see below, seven-year-old stab, grandmother in custody. There was a song, a uh, uh, holiday song, well, just a song as kids. I think like the entire world knows it. Uh, do you guys remember that song? It's a little kid song. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The horse throws away to carry the sleigh through the white drifted snow. And I just thought about that song. This is grandmother's house, supposed to be a safe haven, good food, love, do whatever you want. You're going to get away with it. You're going to be spoiled. You're going to be loved. Not in this case. I guess in this case, it would be over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The cops stole the way to save the day to the horror to unfold. And that's sad. Why would a grandmother stab a seven year old child? Are you that angry? And, and the part that I find is so very interesting. I'm not saying to go out there and not saying to go out there and attack men or anyone for that reason. But I thought about it, especially for women. A lot of your issues, against my opinion, but I think for, for a lot of women, a large part of your issues may stem from men. The men in your life, directly, indirectly. But I think that's where a lot of the anger comes from. And sometimes the situations that you were put in, sometimes it's about the decisions that you made. And these men that you sometimes welcome into your life can wreck a whole lot of havoc. They can abuse you, you and your children, they can steal from you. But you know what I've noticed about a lot of those women? Especially Loma Amis. They will advocate for the men up and down to their last breath. A man could be literally on top choking them out. And she still, her last words might be, oh, but I love you. What? Mm -hmm. But an innocent child that didn't ask to be here. An innocent child, you go and do this. You stab an innocent, a, a seven-year-old now. What could the child have done to, for you to do, to do this? What could the child have done? Who's harmed you in your life? Why are you so angry and so mean, so hateful, so evil? Why? What could that child have done to you? My point is, a lot of people are angry, and especially when it comes to a lot of these women, a lot of your anger is based on the men that you chose in your life, or maybe a man that was just in your life due to circumstances beyond your control. It could be like maybe uh, your dad, maybe you've been abused. Some unresolved issues have gone on. But I think a lot of it stems from men, but at the same time, you do not see those same women getting pulling up on those men like that, but you're gonna pull up on a child with your knife. Really? Seriously? A lot of people have a lot of unresolved anger. Haven't dealt with it. And you on that hamster race, the on that hamster wheel. Maybe grandma was babysitting, save you some money. You see something is wrong and you just look the other way. Want to save a few dollars. And now look. 
I also wonder, this is the first time she's pulled a violent act like this here. That would be surprising. I don't, because I, I can't comprehend how you can go from being a loving grandmother to stabbing your ch a grandchild, stabbing a seven-year-old. I, I, I can't. As for the parent, were you abused by your mother? Then why the hell would you leave your child with the same kind of person? That's why I say, and this can be applicable to anyone, any culture, but being a black person for the next five years, I wish black women would really kind of slow down on these births. And you really need to now, unless you can secure you a uh, uh, a wedding ring, a marriage, and a man that's a provider. I, what, what, are you, what are we doing, ladies? It's too much dysfunction. And I'm more concerned about because that's my group. So this right here. Hashtag, we need about a good five years because a lot of damage has been done to the community, not just by the greater society. We are totally cognizant of that. However, add that in by the damage done in the own community, in the families. We have too much dysfunction going on right now. So we need to go ahead and get it together mentally. It's time to start breaking some of these cycles. This here. Again, with most women, your anger, sometimes it can be. A lot of it, I think it has to do with a man. I, you didn't get to realize your dreams. Oh, I was abused. He didn't treat me right. He deserted me. I've always had it hard. Oh, my goodness. And we can't talk about those things, can't get any counseling, or you're seeing this week. No, we want to go ahead and just suffer in silence and then do something crazy. But I think about it. But how many of those men, again, not saying to get violent with anyone, but how many of those men do you go after? But an innocent child, you stab. That's the hatred for that child. And the sad thing, grandmother, it's a part of you. That's your DNA, sick woman. Oh, I hope they put you in population. Have, they were having her checked out. This is your DNA passed down. Some of the men in her life were men that you were disappointed by. Did you go after them like that? No. I'm not going to do that to him. Well, you know, I, I love him. I love him. But you came after the anger you took out on a seven-year-old. This anger has been there. It's unresolved. This anger, I, I just don't see how a child can get you to go that far. This anger has been there. And that's why you never know people. People are like machines, are like a computer. A computer is programmed with certain information. A lot of people have an effective DNA, and that's in all nationalities, boo-boo. Dusty Dan, the killing man. A lot of people have defective DNA and they keep on passing it down. A lot of people have trauma. A whole lot of trauma and keep on passing it down. In my opinion, the only way you can get a clean slate is to just stop doing the norm. Oh, this person, well, my mom had kids and, uh, not my mom, my parents, you know, were married, but, oh, she, and she struggled through and she made it. I'm going to, at what cost? You see, it's getting harder to survive. And I'll tell you one thing. That's why, you know, within reason, I would tell anyone to try and pursue your dream. If it's a business owner, not send it, just quit your job and say, okay, I'm going to go out there and do it. And you're not prepared financially. Well, try and pursue your dream. That's part of living your best life. Because if you don't, uh, a lot of older people, they'll get older and become very bitter, very angry. No excuse for violent behavior. I've noticed people who are entrepreneurs, um, people who have, they didn't follow the herd, did what they wanted, tried to pursue their dreams, they get older, a lot more peaceful, not bitter, pleasant to be around. Mm-hmm.
So this is with the grandmother. Oh, there's a lot to unpack here. But if you notice, again, there are women that hate women. You can have a vibrant spirit. That child could appear to be so happy and sweet. Or we don't even know if the child is being abused. They, it's going to have to be a full investigation. What led to what was said? We don't know if that child was being abused and threatened. To, we don't know. But I have noticed this about women. Some of them, the ones that want to go to, toward other women and children. But when a man comes up and breaks havoc in their life, as my father said, you find a woman that's a fool, that's hard on women. She's a fool for a man. To stab your seven-year-old grandchild. And as my best friend's dad, uh, the psychiatrist said, that's a lot of what? Undiagnosed mental illness. So this here, prayer is up for the baby. I hope she heals. As for the parent, got a lot of work to do. And I know parenting is hard and very challenging, I can imagine. You've got a lot of work to do. What kind of parent was this person towards you? And if they were abusive or mean, if you find some qualities that are not desirable, why would you put your child around that same kind of parent? I want to know what led up to it. What was said? So yeah, there needs to be a full investigation. I can't, a seven-year-old child, a seven-year-old child, it's heartbreaking. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be alert, be aware, because dealing with these dusties, it is psychologically dehumanizing. It can be exhausting. Just life in general, what people are going through, things that are happening, it's, it's getting crazy. Anyway, so we said her on YouTube. Look forward to hearing your comments. And again, please, people, be safe, be alert, be aware. It's too much dusty behavior out there. And I'm out.